Well, what's it like? I mean, FIU Day, celebrating the championship. What's this like for you guys having a day like today? It's so exciting. I mean, how could you not be happy about something like this? I mean, it brings a lot of pride and it makes you feel good and warm inside that a lot of people care about us like this, that the well, football team has our own day. I know you guys are already conditioning for next season, getting ready for spring practice, but how much do you guys think about the season that just passed and the way you guys won that bowl game? Uh, well, events like this make us think about it, but right now we're trying to think about next season where um, we have expectations to do better, so now we're just focusing on that and try to do that as much as possible. Why, why was last year's team so special that you guys were able to win the Sun Belt, able to go to Detroit and win the Pizza Bowl? Had a lot of dedication, a lot of pride, and we brought into what we did to get to that position and just refused to lose. Does it get tired? Does it, you get tired of looking, Jack, looking at Jack Griffin kicking that field goal? Uh, no, it looks like, it makes me feel like he's about to kick it for the first time every time again. What do you think of the Motor City Miracle? The Mo I think we're the Motor City Miracle. What's that? I believe if I use the Motor City Miracle. What's the play itself? The play itself. I think that I think it was I think it was great. I mean things like that happen once in a lifetime in football, and that's what made our game so special. Thanks, Sip. Congratulations. Thank you. How much have you thought about the uh, kick since since you did it on December 26th? This is the first time since maybe a week after the game. But I mean, lying in bed at night, you don't think about it, or waking up, or no, nah, because I gotta do better next season. I gotta be able to do the same thing. What are you guys doing now? You're doing conditioning. Conditioning workouts, um, four days a week. So. Well, what's it like for you guys to get, you know, be celebrated, you know, with all these fans here, city of Miami's here, all these politicians? What's it like for you guys? It feels really good. Like for the first time, we can come out here, you know, and be really proud of ourselves for what we've accomplished, and we've worked really hard for it. Coach says to make every day FIU day. Uh, I guess we're, the pressure's on for another title this year and another championship. Yeah, you know, and we start every day FIU day, you know, 6 a.m. in the weight room, and then we come to school, you know, we show our colors, our football, and, you know, I've seen a lot more FIU gear around. And it's nice to see around campus and on the streets, people's car tags and everything. Thanks, Jack. Right. Congratulations. We're here with Ash Parker uh, celebrating the championship today at FIU. Uh, five, six years at FIU, and, and this is how you finish it. It's a nice way to finish. It's a nice way to go out. I see FIU at the bottom. I see it not at the top. Uh, I only can expect great things from now from FIU. Uh, expectations are high. I'm glad to be a part of it. You're not conditioning for next season because your eligibility is up. So how much do you think about last season and that bowl game win and the way you guys won it? Uh, it's always on my mind. It's, uh, it's uh, what we expected here at FIU when, when I first got here. I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, I think about it all the time. I still have my jersey in the room. Coach mentioned being every day being FIU day from now on. Uh, the bar's been set pretty high for this next next group of teams and everything like that. The bars are very high. We've got 364 more days left to go. So we got to expect greatness from FIU from now on out. How does the Motor City Miracle sound to you? That's a great name for it. Great name for it. Thanks, Ash. Congratulations. Um, I, tr I take great, great uh, pleasure in watching them enjoy moments like this that validates all their hard work. And um, not to mention, a day like this where our fans, I mean, the entire FIU Nation can come on out, we can celebrate this thing together. This is what it's all about. And this is the beginning of a very strong tradition, a long-lasting tradition that's going to go from here forward. Already working for 2011. I know they're conditioning already. Uh, what's the, the expectations are a little bit higher for next year already? Well, you know, they're always going to rise, you know, and no one's ever risen to low expectations. A preparation for 2011 have been well underway for over three weeks now. Recruiting is about to come to an end. Well, it never does come to an end, but the 2011 class is about to be signed on Wednesday. We've been working on 2011, 2012, and 2013. Um, what's happening now is, you know, after that, that bowl game and having a chance on that national stage, FIU has caught the national eye. That being said, we never want to go too far outside of our hometown, our home state, to recruit the players to make us a champion going forward. So uh, it's a mile a minute. Uh, coaches, you see Coach Mirabal, Coach Bonds over there, you know, they're, <laughs> they're standing on two feet, but they're a little bit wobbly because they've been sleeping three hours a day, scouring the state of Florida and the country for the best players. And you know what? They're coming out by you. What made the 2010 season so special, winning a bowl game, winning a Sun Belt title? I think the lessons learned over the course of three years by the senior class came into play after the first four games. These guys truly know how to overcome adversity. 
and they applied it in critical situations. And then, like we talked about day one, those who will stay here will be champions. You're looking at the Sun Belt Conference champs, the Little Caesars Bowl champs, and the beginning of a very strong tradition here at FIU. What do you think of the name, the Motor City Miracle? <laughs> I just like miracles, you know. <laughs> I, um, you know, when, when you watch that game now, you appreciate the intensity of our players to come back after being down 24-7. You really appreciate just uh, the determination, you know, every every rep in the weight room, every extra sprint, every extra rep on the football field, you see all that come into play to try to find a way to get it done. And these guys found a way to get it done. So proud of them. Thanks, Coach. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you.